Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a beautiful day today. So today's video is going to be a life update and also 25 fun facts about me. I have everything written down in my notes of all my facts, but I don't have my updates. So I'm gonna go along and hopefully memorize all my updates and get everything updated for you guys. So I'm gonna start with the updates. My first update is, I don't know if you guys have noticed or realized I haven't been uploading, I think like in a week already. And it's a very important reason we just have been going through so much in our families, both of our families, and just series of events that keep coming and we're just being there for our families and it's very hard to vlog, it's very hard to do a sit down video, it's very tough to edit. I have videos, I just don't have any time in my schedule to edit, like it's just been one thing after another and I'm just waiting for the rainbow to come after the storm so yeah it's just I'm not gonna get into detail I'm not gonna give any hints or clues of what's going on it's just one of those things that needs to be private and not public and yeah it's just it's been crazy especially with my schedule with the kids with being a mom being a wife especially having to be there for everyone and so yeah I just it's been really 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 rough and crazy and just waiting for it to kind of like slow down and I can finally get back on schedule because I do want to get back on track and I can't, not kind of, I want to upload twice a week. So that's my goal and it's just, I need this all to settle. But yeah, once that happens, for sure my uploading will start being consistent and I'm planning on it being the second week of February. I hope, I hope, I hope, I pray. But if not, please, please, please be understanding. There's just a lot of stuff going on that is our priority and has to come first. The second update is my husband and I celebrated our fifth year of being married on January 28th. And it was actually a very nice day. It was just him and I all day. My mom came over and watched the kids. Like it was a very relaxing, fun nice day and night like I just we really needed that one-on-one -on -one time with each other and actually you know this whole month of January we have been going out by ourselves so I can't complain and it's just I feel like us doing that has made our relationship and our marriage so much stronger and we're at this point in our life we've been together for eight years it's like everything is finally settled smooth like we're at this point where it's just we're loving each other now and we're not putting our, like our main focus and our priorities are our kids, but we're finally putting each other's first and focusing on us as well. So I feel like that's helped up so much. And I, I honestly, cause I've not, I haven't been happier. So yeah, I'm very happy. Um, the third update is Naraya is now in softball. She had her first practice on Monday and then she's gonna have another practice this week as well. And I just am super excited for her. I went from soccer mom to softball mom and it'll go back to being soccer mom again. Uh, and then I think I'm going to try and find like cheerleading or some sort of dance for her hopefully soon, but I do like keeping her active. But for her, for sure her and TJ will be doing swim this year. So there's so much stuff I have them doing that I'm always on this schedule, especially with her having all these program she's doing at school so she stays after school sometimes so yeah there's just so much stuff and I don't want to put too much on her I don't want her to hate everything so yeah I just I don't want to overwhelm her with things so we're starting off one by one so once one season's over we'll jump into another one and slowly see how she does with that and she's only five so no rush but I am super excited about softball so that's the other update that I wanted to let you guys know so I kind of want to do like a little vlog with her practicing and stuff like that I probably won't vlog her games or anything like that's too private but um yeah so that's another update the fourth update is I signed DJ up for preschool so fingers crossed he will be starting in August he will be going for like four hours out of the day and it's exciting but also scary at the same time because he's my baby and I'm just letting him go but it's also exciting because with Naraya I feel so bad but I didn't get to volunteer as much because I had TJ and I didn't really have babysitters so I mean I did volunteer once a month for her and then I did try to make every like out outings that they would have 
but it was very tough with having TJ. So now that TJ is alone and it'll just be him and I, I can volunteer as much as I want. And also I can volunteer with Naraya during the times that he is in school. So it's just gonna be so much smoother and so much better. And I just am excited for that part in our life. I'm sad that he's gonna be three in March. That goes with the fourth update, but he will be three in March. So I'm, I'm pretty sad, it's bittersweet. But also I'm excited for his little journey because he's learning already. He knows his ABCs, he knows how to count to 10. Like I'm just, I'm super excited for him. Like I can't wait to see how he looks at school and make friends and stuff like that. I'm very nervous because he, he is very, very rough. He's a very rough boy and I'm just nervous on that part, but hopefully he does good. And the best thing about it is that he will have the teachers Naraya had in preschool. So he already knows them, he loves them, and it's just gonna be an easy transition for him to, for me to leave him. So that's, that's something that's very good. I'm gonna go ahead and go into my facts about me. The first fact is, my favorite band back when I was 18 was My Chemical Romance. I was obsessed with My Chemical Romance. Number two, I have always wanted to move to Texas. I don't know why, like, I just, I don't know. I feel like it's so beautiful. I feel like the houses are beautiful. I don't know, correct me if I'm wrong, but I would really love to move to Texas. Uh, number three, my dream number of kids is four. Probably ain't gonna happen settle for three but for me to personally have is four kids. Number four, my middle name is Allison. But that's my middle name. If you didn't know, you know now. Uh, number five, my first car was a red Hyundai. Hyundai. Tomato tomato. I don't know how you guys pronounce it but I say Hyundai. Um, number six, I want a black lab. I had one when I was but he died. I think someone poisoned him because that's what the um, vet said. We only had him for a year. It was just so sad. Like, I cried a lot because he was my dog. Like, we trained him. We did everything with him. I always took him for walks. Like, he was, like, my best friend. So that was, like, the worst, the worst loss of an animal pet that I've had. Like, it, that one hurt because... I took him to school. Like he was my baby. He was actually like my first dog. My 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 first dog. Um, number seven. I wanted to name my son Nazareth, which is actually his middle name, but I wanted that to be his first name because I wanted the kids to both have ends, Mariah and Nazareth, just see how well that goes, but his dad did not want that. <laughs> number eight. My mom named me after a character from a vampire series. You guys didn't know that Josette is actually from Dark Shadows back in the days when my mom was young. Um, number nine, I love sad movies because I like to cry. <laughs> sad shows, sad movies, anything that is dramatic and very like sentimental and emotional, I love them because I love crying. Number ten, oh my gosh, this one y'all do not know. No one knows this. I was going to name Naraya Mavis Anna Lee, uh, but of course my mom and my husband were both in my ears. No, 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 no. So first, my it was my first child, first of all. So I had so much people telling me what I should and should not do. So that was a very big impact. But definitely wanted her name, her first name to be Mavis, and her middle name to be Anna Lee. And the reason why I just love the name Mavis. I don't know why, just rolls off your tongue, Mavis. And then Anna Lee, I've always liked Anna. I don't know, I'm just so weird, but I've always liked it. And But Lee, I was gonna incorporate it with my dad. My, I don't really call him my stepdad because he raised me since I was one. But, so yeah, my dad, um, his middle name is Lee, Randy Lee. And like a lot of <laughs> cousins and nieces, they're all Lee for him. But for me personally, I wanted to give my child that because I wanted to give that as like a gratitude and thank you for being my dad and being my kid's grandchildren. So it was going to be Mavis and Ali for the leaf for him. But it didn't happen. Um, number 11, my best friend and I have known each other since fourth and fifth grade. That's crazy, huh? I was in fourth grade and Jackie was in fifth grade when we first met. And we met at church. So that was crazy. And I'm so glad and thankful for 
her for being in my life because honestly my life would be so boring. <laughs> um, friend wise, she's like the life of the party. Number 12, my biggest pet peeve is being lied to. Thus, I get crazy when it when someone lies to me. Uh, number 13, I'm a very nice, easygoing person, but people think I'm intimidating and rude. I don't know, I guess I always have like a be resting face. I don't know, but yeah, I get a lot of people that tell me you you look really unapproachable and intimidating. I don't know why. Like. I'm honestly the nicest person you'll ever meet. You can ask my friends, you can ask my family. Um, don't ask my husband. <laughs> Number 14, my favorite genre of music is reggaeton. I love reggaeton. I'm so like, I'm into like Bad Bunny, J Balvin, um, Zana. Like I'm just into like all kinds of stuff like that. And number 15, this is a good one. I used to be obsessed with Usher and Eminem. They were my men. Like, oh, back in high school, Eminem was everything to me. Like, I had the biggest crush. Um, number 16, I was in a singing competition multiple times in my with my church. So I, I knew how to sing. I know how to sing, not that great, but I was in competitions and actually won one. Uh, number 17, I used to be in a band in middle school. <laughs> yeah, that was like, I don't know. I don't know, I'll look for a picture. Um, number 18 was the stupidest thing I've ever done in my life, but I ran away when I was 14 years old. There's just so much stuff going on during that time when I was 14 that I hid from my parents and maybe I shouldn't have and things probably wouldn't turn out the way they did. But I think all those life events turned me into the strong person that I am today. Number 19, I'm a very light sleeper. My husband hates it. He will wake up and like get boxers or socks out of the dresser. I'm looking at it because that's where his stuff's at. And right away I'm like, what happened? What are you doing? And he's just like, go back to sleep. But yeah, he hates that I, I, I'm a very light sleeper. Number 20, my biggest fear is leaving my kids when they are still young and need me. I can't stress that enough. Like I just wanna be able to raise my kids and see them grow up and see my grandkids. Like I just don't want to leave this earth while they're still young, like little kids like they are right now. Like I don't want another woman raising my kids. I am that petty. I do not, I will haunt that woman. <laughs> But yeah, that's my biggest fear. Number 21, I've never farted in front of my husband for the eight years that we've been together. He's never heard one two come out of me because I do not fart in front of him. I think that's so embarrassing. I will close my door in my restroom, turn the water on or the shower if I have to fart or go number two. So yeah, he's never heard it. Number 22, oh, I was training to be in the military when I was in ninth grade. 10th grade and I actually made platoon um, leader for that program so I was actually pretty good at that. We wouldn't even imagine short little tiny girl like into that stuff. <laughs> um, number 23, I hate seafood with a passion. I'm allergic to shrimp. I don't know if that has anything to do with it so I think I'm allergic to everything but I'm definitely allergic to shrimp but I just hate seafood with a passion. Like I just, I don't like sushi either. Like you can't get me to eat sushi. My, my cousins tried, they tried taking me to a sushi house and I just, I couldn't. Like I wanted to throw up. I literally felt nauseous to my stomach. Uh, number 24, I got accepted into the Academy of Arts Institution in San Francisco. It was all go for, like I was gonna go. I took my portfolio, they seen all my drawings, they seen my videos that I did, they seen all kinds of stuff that got me accepted there, but I ended up not wanting to go after all because then I was told I couldn't take my car. And I had just got my car, I graduated high school when I was 16, so I just got my car and I was like not ready to let it go. I mean, my parents would have paid for it, but I wanted to be the one to pay for it because I told them I would and I was paying for it. Um, so I, I just, I didn't want to let that part go, which I'm, I'm glad I didn't because then I would never have met Tino and I would never have my kids or my husband. 
Uh, number 25. My dream is to become a teacher. I never thought I would want to do that until I had kids. That's like the honest truth. I never once in my entire life, even as a kid, ever said that I wanted to be a teacher when I grew up. So yeah, that, that's something new to me. And having kids really changes your perspective on life and on your career choices, I say. I don't know, especially if you are a young mom and you don't, you didn't get to go finish complete your like college career and stuff like that. So that's something that I was like, well, I never thought I would come to say that I wanted to be a teacher. Like you can even ask my sisters. I hated kids when I was a teenager. I like never wanted to babysit my nephews and nieces. Like I hated kids, didn't want to be around kids. Like I was anti-kids. I even said at one point in my life, I never wanted kids and look at me. I love them. But yeah, anyways, those are some fun facts about me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and got some new info about me. And thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you for the subscribers that are sticking around even though I hardly upload and I'm not consistent. Thank you guys so much for always messaging me on Instagram telling me how much you enjoy my channel and enjoy me as a person and all the all the people that are able to relate to me. Thank you guys so much for being supportive and always being here for me. And I promise to get back on my schedules as soon as everything calms down and gets right back on track during this whole situation and stuff going on. But I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, thumbs it up, click the subscribe button, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.